Hello and welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today it's Friday, it's Marvel Champions Friday! I am super excited to be here, my name is Peter, and I am excited because today is the first day Sinister Motives is out. So we are taking a look at Spider-Gwen and we are taking a look at Miles Morales. Now on this video here, we're only going to look at uh, Ghost Spider, but if you want to see Miles Morales, go over to the One Stop Co-op Shop stream channel and you will see my playthrough first play and impressions of Miles Morales. So when I do these first play impressions, I only do the standard deck. So whatever it comes right out of the box, I play with the hero that way and I play against a standard villain. Now, sometimes I will play against the new villains, but I want to give people a chance to get to play against them themselves. So uh, I'm not doing that. But if you love Marvel Champions, make sure you are subscribed to the One Stop Co-op Shop stream channel. We do live Marvel Champions every Friday night and you will get to see us play through that campaign. Now you will notice I'm playing on Tabletop Simulator. I do that because I love to be able to zoom in on the cards and I just don't have the setup to do it. But just know that I do not encourage people to play Tabletop Simulator with anything they don't own. So I own everything I am playing with here today. I own everything for Marvel Champions. So that's, that's not an issue. Yes, let's get started. So I'm gonna play against Drang. So one of Terrence's favorite villains. Uh, it, it's an interesting scenario. It's the first one in the Galaxy's Most Wanted campaign. They have a force response after step one of the villain phase, which is adding threat here. And you are going to add two threat per player per turn. So it's not a little bit. Uh, after resolving step one of the villain phase, resolve the Badoon ship charge up ability. First player action, you can exhaust the Milano, which you also have, uh, which is a permanent setup card, which uh, the first player controls. And it's a resource for you. You can exhaust it to generate a wild resource and or in this scenario you can exhaust it to remove three threat from there but what's this uh, charge up ability it's a special ability on the Badoon ship where you place a barrage counter here if there are four more barrage counters here de here deal two indirect damage to each player and remove all barrage counters from here so it's going to continue to charge up and guess what Drang charges it as well after Drang schemes resolve the Badoon ships charge up ability so going to be charging up these ships as we go but let's see what uh, Spider-Gwen has for them. On this side, she says, it's time for the drum solo. Nice. And it's an action. Either shuffle the ticket to the multiverse from your discard pile into your deck or ready George Stacy. So that's not Gwen Stacy, it's George. That's her dad, I think. Don't know what either of those cards are, so not gonna worry about that right now. On this side, she's one thwart to attack three defense normal hand size of five and she has 10 life so a little bit low on health here but she's a protection hero and has pretty decent defense too so that's good hopefully we got some of those like if you don't take damage type things uh dizzing reflexes response after you resolve an interrupt or a response ability on an event ready ghost spider limit once per phase so you can't just keep playing interrupts and responses and readying but hey Reading once per phase is good. That means once on my turn and once on the enemy turn. Now I would have to have an interrupt or response to play, but um, pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and draw up our six cards. And whoa, speaking of protection, there's a lot of protection. So let's start with Web of Life and Destiny. Ignore this card's resource cost if your identity has Web Warrior, which... I just so happen to do. So it's going to be a free card for me to play. So probably going to play it. Uh, response. After a web warrior ally leaves play, choose a player. That player draws a card. Oh, so this is a free card draw as you're losing your web warrior allies. That's pretty neat because um, we've seen this before with guardians. Web warrior seems like it's going to be like a thing so that's kind of cool. Well, guess what? And we have Silk, a web warrior right in our hand. After you play Silk from your hand, if you control another web warrior card, which I will be a web warrior myself, search the encounter deck for a treachery uh, card and discard it. Wait, what? Search the encounter deck for a treachery card and discard it? Wait, Shadows of the Past is a treachery card. I can just discard Shadows of the Past? Oh, yes, please, and thank you. Uh, Silk, you're staying right here. Uh, bait and switch, the villain attacks you and remove four threat from the scheme. Nope. Uh, it is a good card and it has been in here before, but no, no, not keeping that one. Uh, what doesn't kill me? So it requires, this is a new thing. So this requires at least one fist. It's two cost, but one of those must be a fist. While paying for this card, spend the listed resources. So it's a hero action. Heal two damage from your hero and ready your hero. Oh, that's pretty good, but I'm not hurt yet. So let's not do that. Uh, hero response. After Ghost Spider uses a basic power. 
So that's attack, defense, whatever. Remove five threat from five threat from a scheme. Max one per basic power use. What? That's really good. But there's only two threat on the scheme. But holy moly! Hopefully, I have more of those in my deck. Uh, and return the favor. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until you discard a treachery. Reveal that treachery and deal five damage to the villain. That's a free card. But I do gotta get a treachery, which is pretty bad, but free? All right, I'm gonna hold it. I'll probably end up using it as a resource, but wow. All right, so they've got protection, so it can do actually do some damage here. But treachery card, I mean, without silk, that'd be bad, but I can remove shadows of the past. It's not as bad as it normally would be. All right, so what doesn't kill me is definitely gonna be resource again. Heal two damage and ready your hero. Ghost kick, after ghost spider uses a basic power, deals six damage to an enemy what so that's similar to the flip one which removes five threat i wonder max one per basic power use max one per basic but i think i can use both of them i can only use one ghost kick and one phantom flip but i think i can use them both max one per yeah i believe i can keep doing that Netweb. So again, it requires something. This requires a mental resource. When an enemy would activate, cancel the activation. Wait, what? Just cancel their attack, thwart, whatever? Okay. I mean, it's a little expensive, but it's still pretty good. If you cancel a minion activation, deal four damage to the minion. Oh, wow. All right. So you could do it to the villain. You could do it to a minion. Uh, it just can't. So it's kind of like a stun slash... It's a little bit expensive, certainly for early in the game. I'm hoping she has something to uh, reduce the cost of stuff. Now, I do have the Milano, but I'd like to just use the Milano to remove the threat here. So let's see what I can do. So I don't have any ticket to the multiverse or George Stacy, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to flip over. Now I'm a web warrior. This web of destiny becomes free. After web warrior ally leaves play, choose a player to draw a card. All right, now I'm going to pay for Silk. After you pay Silk from your hand, if you control a web warrior, search the encounter deck for treachery and discard it. Yes, please, and thank you. Maybe I keep this net, uh, web net in my hand and I can potentially cancel. All right, so let me pay two, one, two, to put in Silk. So that allows me to, after you play Silk from your hand, if you control another web warrior, which I do because I control myself, Ghost Spider, search the encounter deck for treachery and discard it. So let's search that for shadows. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Just buy shadows of the past. Uh, yeah, I like that. I could also see getting rid of advance because sometimes that annoys me or if you don't want them to attack you, you can get rid of that. Interesting, interesting. So I do have this hero action attack. Do I want to do this? I mean, do I really want to just go for random treachery to do five damage? High damage is pretty good. I'm doing it. Why not? <laughs> you only live once. YOLO! <laughs> Let's see what happens. I mean, Shadows of the Past is gone. That is not a treachery. 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 Holy moly. Whoa. None of these are... Oh, here's a treachery. So, when revealed, discard an upgrade or support you control. If no cards were discarded, the card gains Surge. I don't... Oh, I do. I do have a support. So... All right, well, bye. I mean, that was a free card anyway. So, I mean, to lose a free card to do five damage? Uh, yes, please, and thank you. That that actually isn't the worst thing in the world. Then I'm going to attack for two myself. We're going to have Silk over here attack for one more. So that's going to be a total of three attack. One, two, three. And just like that, turn one, down to five life. Holy moly. Not going to complain about that. That is for darn sure. And then I'm going to exhaust the Milano to remove up to three threat from the scheme so that is that all right so that wasn't too bad and i got this web net thing here which if i really want to i can cancel their activation well uh it requires a mental so i would have to have that so i have young love here uh which is a team up card for gwen and miles i don't have miles currently um heal three damage from gwen and miles not gonna complain about that uh, and then what doesn't kill me again? So heal two. All right. So I've got that. It's a action, not an interrupt though. Ooh, web bracelet. What's this? Hero response. After you resolve an interrupt or response, which I want, I ready myself when I do that also. Exhaust the bracelet and draw a card. Oh, okay. 
So it's not a resource generator, but it draws me a card, which is basically the same as generating resource. So I have what doesn't kill me, but I also have WebNet here. So I could WebNet this, which is an interrupt, which would just let me ready, which isn't great in all honesty, because I don't need to ready. Um, I don't really have much else to do with my cards right here. So we'll see. We'll see. First things first, we're going to add one threat. We're going to add a counter to this Badoon thing here. All right, so Badoon ship has one. Now he's going to attack me. Attacks me for two. Do I web net this? Feels like a big waste, but I don't really have much to do with this stuff here. So you know what? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna web net it. Cancel the activation. It's not a minion, but uh, I did have that wild resource, so that will let me do it. So we're just gonna cancel that activation. Why not? Eh. It is an interrupt. It would let me ready. And if I had this web bracelet out, it would let me exhaust it and draw a card. Unfortunately, I didn't have that out yet. So that's fine. So he doesn't attack me, though. Uh, I'm okay with that, in all honesty, <laughs> obviously. Uh, Peril. Uh, while you're resolving this card, other players cannot help you. So I can either exhaust the Milano. Oh, that's right. I don't add one. I add two here. Uh, or spend two fist resources, which I don't have. Or stun the first player, which would be me. Do I care about being stunned? I mean, it's two less damage, but if I exhaust the Milano, I can't remove the threat. So yeah, I'm just gonna stun myself. Why not? I'm not really doing a whole lot this turn anyway. I'm okay with that. All right, so back to my turn. This will be a quick turn. Tack to get rid of the stun, and I'm gonna put out my web, whatever this thing's called, web bracelet. So that's pretty fun. I mean, usually this card would be something that just gives you a resource to pay for something, uh, interrupt or response or whatever, but this one lets you just draw a card afterward, which gets you through your deck faster, which is both a pro and a con. Uh, I'm gonna exhaust Milana to take three off of the main scheme and I'm gonna call it good. Quick turn, quick turn. All right, let's draw and see what we get. So Ghost Kick again. After Ghost Spider, use the basic attack power. Deal six damage to an enemy. Yes, please. We got another web net. So, uh, and I could pay for it. Across the Spider-Verse, what's this? Exhaust a Web Warrior card you control. Search your discard pile for a Web Warrior ally and put that into play. Then choose a player. That player can spend three resources of any type to repeat this ability. So you can put up to two allies back into play. Now, I don't have any allies in, but I could block with Silk and end up putting her back in for her cost after you play Silk from your hand. So no, that wouldn't do that. Return the favor, does that five damage attack. Ooh, parental advice, it's an event. Uh, alter ego action. If George Stacy is in play, attach one event from your hand or discard pile to him. If George Stacy is not in play, search your deck and discard pile for him and add him to your hand. Now remember, uh, George Stacy, I don't know what he does, but we can attach cards to him, obviously. And I can ready George Stacy if I'm on my alter ego also. So that might be something to consider. All right, so we're gonna add two threat here. We're gonna add one to the um, charge up ability of the Badoon ship and attack for six. You know what? I don't wanna block. I might just take this. I might just take this because then I can play this, which is a response, which is gonna let me draw cards. It's gonna let me do all this stuff. Yeah, so I'm just, I mean, the other option is to block it with Silk, which might be, Ah, you know what? I'm gonna block it with Silk. So, tax for two, plus zero. So, bye Silk. I hardly knew ye. Oh, I was thinking I could use Across the Spider-Verse, but I have to exhaust a Web Warrior to do that. So, I can't really do that. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, for right now, I know I want to do Ghost Kick. And then I'm gonna draw a card, and we'll see how that card ends up paying off because of uh, Web Bracelet here. All right, but first things first, I gotta take an encounter card and let's see, Peril, uh, choose one. I can either exhaust the Milano or spend two mental resources, which I could do with these two, um, or deal three damage to the first player. You know what? I'm fully clean. I am gonna take that three damage and say yes, please, and thank you. Cause I have an idea. I have an idea what I'm gonna do to get rid of that three damage, I think. All right. First things first, I'm gonna attack. When I attack, uh, do do do, I do two damage, one, two. 
And then I'm going to play Ghost Kick. After Ghost Spider attacks or uses a basic power, deal six damage to an enemy. So I'm going to do that. That cost me two. So across the Spider-Verse, I can't really exhaust to use anyway. So I'm going to do that and my web net, which I didn't use, uh, to do this kick. So that does six damage. One, two, three, boom. Advancing past the first stage of Drang. One revealed. If Drang Spear is in play, give Drang one face down boost card. Otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a spear. Reveal it and shuffle the deck. Force response. After Drang schemes, charge up. So attacking for three now instead of and scheming for two. So maybe that wasn't the smartest thing ever. And ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Drang gains stalwart. Cannot be stunned or confused. So it doesn't seem to be a problem so far. But uh, yeah, that's pretty expensive to get rid of, and it's plus one attack. So now be attacking for four, which, ouch. But this was a hero response. So I get to ready Gwen, and I get to do this to draw a card. So I'm going to draw that card. Ooh, double fist resource. Wait a minute. Double fist and a mental. I don't have the mental, though. Maybe I hold that double fist. Five damage. All right. So how much life does this have? 14 life. I can do five damage and just to resolve a treachery card. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Stupid again, but I'm doing it. So first I flip until I get a treachery card and resolve it. Do, 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 do. Treachery, treachery. Wow. There's a lot of non-treachery cards. That's an environment card. That's not a treachery. Wow, another non-treachery. Oh, there we go. We know this one. Hero, the villain attacks you. So that's not great. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I did not want to be attacked for a ton of damage here. Uh, four. So my idea was, since I was ready, I could flip over and heal myself back up. But I only heal for three and I defend for three, so I'm going to defend. So I'm getting attacked for four. Plus another one it would be five total, so that is two damage taken ouch but you know what i did i took two i did five one two three four five you're down to nine buddy so drang eh maybe maybe that's worthwhile i mean it's really good when i'm able to remove shadows of the past from that that's for sure otherwise i'm not sure i would want to to do that all right so do i flip well first things first i'm gonna exhaust this to get rid of this i am gonna flip down why not? There's no threat on here, although it's going to have two. Plus two would be four. So I can't lose unless I draw an advance, which if you've ever seen me play, you know I can easily draw an advance. But let's see what this parental advice is. Uh, so if George J.C. is in play, he's not. If George J.C. is not in play, search your deck and discard pile for him and add him to your hand. And then shuffle your deck. So let's search for George. My buddy George over here, Stacy. Let's draw him into my hand. But ink, but ink. And George costs one. Events attached to George Stacy may be played as if they were in your hand. So you're gonna attach events to him. Uh, action, exhaust George Stacy and uh, attach one event from your hand face down here to a maximum of three. Oh, this is really good for protection because you can have attached events to him that uh, protection, the big problem with protection events is you get them to your hand and you don't know what to do with them. They just sit there. So now, is this alter ego? No, this is just an action. So this is regular or alter ego. And in fact, if you were on this side, you can use it more than once. Ready George Stacy. So you can put two events attached to George Stacy and treat them as if you're there in your hand. Uh, you could play them, I'm sorry, as if they're in your hand. So again, you can play events here. You can just hold on to them, let you draw up to your full hand size and not have to hold protection events. Well, that's really good. I really like that. Um, unfortunately, that is a Ghost Spider only card, which makes her awesome at protection. Um, or like if she gets a bunch of events she just can't use all at once, it makes her awesome for that. But uh, unfortunately, it's limited to her, but it's still real good. I'm going to hold on to that. I'm not going to waste my double strength because I do want to get rid of that Drang Spear. So I'm going to just hold both of those cards and draw four. Which, by the way, is not great for trying to show off this deck. Because uh, we're only barely over halfway through the deck. And he is definitely over halfway dead. But we'll look through the deck afterward anyway and we'll just discuss everything. Ghost Spider uses a basic power. Deal six damage to an enemy. Oh, 
uh, yep, that might be uh, <laughs> not not good for him next turn. Uh, so we got bait and switch. We know what that is. The villain attacks you and then remove four threat. When this card is revealed from an encounter deck, Deal damage to the villain equal to one more than the number of boost icons on that card and cancel its when revealed effects. That is super good. So you cancel when revealed effects and you do damage with that card. Perfect example of something that would be great on George Stacy, because I don't want to play it now because I only play it on the villain turn, but I don't want to hold it either. So that's pretty cool. All right. After Ghost Spider uses a basic power, remove five threat from a scheme. Might need that as well in a second. So uh, I got Ghost Kick and Phantom Flip. Maybe I can't use both of them because I just don't have the resources. Oh, but Pirouette and Punch is that mental resource I need to pay for this. Oh, to get rid of Dragon Spear. Oh, but one more attack is pretty brutal and can't be stunned or confused. Although, like looking at this deck, I don't seem to have that problem. All right, so we're adding two threats to the scheme. We're going up to three charge up counters, one more, and I'm gonna be taking two indirect damage, which is not good because I'm already five damaged as it is. So he is going to scheme. Drang is gonna add two more plus whatever he draws here, zero. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so that's not too bad. All right, so just four threat on the scheme right, or on the uh, main scheme right now. We're gonna go ahead and take this. Card gain surge if you're alter ego, which I am. Ooh, a force response. So we got a Badoon Grunt here. Uh, force response, after Badoon Grunt engages you, if there are no other minions engaged with you, deal yourself a face down encounter card. And guess what? We are still in the encounter phase, so we're gonna do it again. Now, thankfully, now there is another minion engaged with me, so I'm good. Uh, all right, so we got two of these, but there are two attack each. Oh my gosh, that is a little ridiculous. So I can use my Milano to remove three of that four threat. So I'm not as worried about that. You know what I am worried about? My five life right now. Don't love that. Deal six. All right. So after Ghost Spider uses a basic power, deal six damage to an enemy. I mean, feels like I should do that here, right? To get him almost dead. <sighs> do I get rid of the spear? I feel like I have to. I can't take any extra damage, I feel like right now but that would get rid of this pirouette and punch thing which is a really good card when this card is revealed from the encounter deck uh i would love to and i am going to draw cards so but this is alter ego right oh no it's a hero action all right i don't have to make the choice right now great so do i put george stacy yeah i feel like i'm gonna bait and switch there's no way i'm using bait and switch i'll put george stacy into play and then just for fun, I'm going to exhaust him to put Ghost Kick attached to him. And I can play it as if it's in my hand, so it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to ready George Stacy because uh, I can ready George Stacy or put this Ticket to the Multiverse, which I haven't seen yet, back in my deck from my discard pile. But I'm just going to do that. Now I'm going to flip over. So George Stacy is ready. I can exhaust him at any point to attach another card to him. So that gives me a little bit of flexibility because it's an action. It's not hero. It's not alter ego. It's not anything. So I could do eight damage to him right now, which would almost kill him. But I am also almost dead. So I'm going to... Oh, but I ready myself when I play that card. All right. So here's technically what I should do, but I'm not going to. What I should do is attack him, do two damage, then play this ghost kick card over here to do six damage to him and then do two more after i ready myself so that would be a total of 10 damage which would be enough to kill but i'm not doing that why because i'm just showing stuff off and actually i'm not using this dragon spear so i don't even know what i was thinking here because uh, i need my double resource to pay for uh ghost kick because i totally spaced on the fact that like I actually have to pay for Ghost Kick. It's not free. All right. Anyway, I'm going to do two damage with my basic attack. I'm going to get rid of a Badoon Grunt. Then, because it's fun, I'm going to Ghost Kick using my Strength card. So that is a six damage attack. So that moves him down to three damage, which readies me. And I can use this to draw a card, which I will do. Oh, which is a double mental resource. So I could actually Phantom Flip right now uh, to remove five threat from a scheme. I think I can play both. I really do. 
but I'm not going to. I don't care about that right now. What I do care about is this pirouette and punch, which will let me cancel when revealed effects and do damage. So I'm gonna use George Stacy to hold on to this pirouette punch, and I'm gonna just discard phantom punch. I got nothing that I really wanna do with this. I am gonna use the Milano to remove three threat from a scheme, and I just realized something. This is not great, what I just realized. <laughs> So let's remember that I could have won there because I might be about to lose right here. Oh, no, no. I'm attacking this Badoon Grunt. I was about to say, wait a minute. Uh, this is not looking good because I'm definitely taking two damage from this thing. And I was going to take two from the Grunt, which would have been four of my five life. And that means I would have had to block. And he's already doing four damage. I might die anyway here. But uh, remember, I could have won there. I could have won. <laughs> just as a reminder. Uh, all right. I'm going to ready up, though, just for fun. Let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, here is the Ticket to the Multiverse card. Double wild resource. Holy moly. So, as a reminder, choose to either shuffle it from your discard pile into your deck. So, I could use a two wild resource, which you don't see very many wild resource cards, but especially two. Um, and I could shuffle that back into my deck. So, or I could use it for a cost of three, which is not inexpensive. I remove it from the game. I discard my hand. I shuffle my discard pile into my deck and I draw up to your hand size and ready ghost spider each ghost spider card you control yeah so that would ready all of these cards which is good but I remove it from the game so I can't then use it for the double resource oh spiles uh, spiles spiles really spider-man miles after playing spider-man from your hand if you control three or more web warrior cards stun and confuse the enemy well first of all can't because he's stalwart second of all don't have Ooh, here's another spider-man this is uh hobie brown which is spider punk i think is what he's called so this is miles morales this is hobie brown so i can play both of them play this card only if you control web warrior when spider-man leaves play discard the top three cards from the encounter deck and deal damage to the villain equal to the number of boost icons discarded this, that way so he wants to chump die or whatever and then you deal damage to the villain equal number of boost icons the top three cards what and it says when spider-man leaves play and this one says after playing spider-man from your hand i wonder if that's all of the spider men so like if i play morales here then when i play spider-man hobie brown does that count as if you control three or more web warriors stun and confuse an enemy could i do that it seems like yes because they're all called spider-man interesting so these not only are they web warriors but it seems like they may play off of each other in that way as well which would be really interesting so i do have some double resources and stuff here as well so spider-man morales will almost definitely come out although oh this one's really good too uh, i got bait and switch which i'm not playing get myself killed basically no thanks i'm already almost dead anyway of my own devices all right so we're gonna add two threat here we're gonna add one here but then remove them if there are four more counters deal two indirect damage to yourself that's not great gotta be honest i'm not feeling wonderful with three health about to get attacked for four and no defensive cards this is a protection deck without really a whole lot of protection cards so i am going to clearly defend myself yep yeah, so that's three defense four damage coming in plus two more so that's seven total damage I'm blocking three of it, so I take four. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I'm only taking six damage, which is exactly enough to kill me. All right, so I'm dead here. But we're going to pretend, just for the sake of getting through our deck, because we got 11 cards left, that I did not die here. Because I could have killed them. And then they could have killed me. But uh, I'm not going to worry about either of these. I want to see how these cards play out. So let's go ahead and we pretend I have one life here. Let's draw this card. So this is spatial positioning. First player action, exhaust Milano and remove three threat from this scheme. And there's only three per player here and it boosts uh, their cards. I was actually kind of hoping to pirouette and punch him to death. I was hoping there would be a when revealed of, here on it, when a card is revealed from the encounter deck, deal damage to the villain equal to one. So I could just do this. I can just punch, wait a minute, wait a minute. When a card is revealed, so revealed is this. So it has to be, an encounter card revealed boost cards are not revealed they're just flipped over so i couldn't have punched him before he punched me 
But I could right now, if I wanted to, technically, uh, when a card is revealed from the encounter deck, deal damage to villain equal to one more than the number of boost icons on the card. So that would be four damage for the cost of two. Because remember, I could play it as if it's in my hand. And it ignores when revealed effects. So there, it wouldn't do anything to the card itself. But I could theoretically, boom, use a double resource to do that right now. That's pretty nifty. All right. So I'm going to use this Ticket to the Multiverse for two resources, Genius for another two resources, and put Spider-Man Miles Morales into play. Now, I don't control three or more Web Warriors, but I'm pretty sure, like I said, if I played Spider-Man Hobie Brown right now, I am pretty sure the way that would work is that this would trigger, and I would stun and confuse them, which is pretty darn nifty. So again, I could have won by playing Pirouette and Punch, to do four damage over here, but nah, why would I do that? Here I'm gonna do three damage. So, or two damage, I'm sorry. Two damage and Morales takes one. I'm gonna discard this, but I'm gonna hold on to this Spider-Man. Cause again, I think I triggered this, but actually I could have just done this. Oh, I should have just played him. And then when I died here in a second, I would have done a ton of damage to him. That's all right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw four cards and see what happens. And we are, just as a reminder, going to do a discussion afterwards where we uh, talk about my thoughts on this new deck. Oh, another Pirouette and Punch. Another Phantom Flip. Oh, I should have done this to remove three threat. Also, done and done. Ooh, Flip Jump. What's this? Defense. When you take any amount of damage, prevent two of that damage. If you paid for this using a Lightning Bolt, remove two threat from the main scheme. Yes, please, and thank you. Holy moly, that's pretty good. And I got another web bracelet, so that's cool. But after resolving one of those, exhaust the web bracelet and draw a card max one per event. So I can't do it multiple times for the same event. But it gives me a second one, so I can, that would be nice. All right, so let's go ahead and ready everything up. Well, I actually have a defensive event now, so I could prevent five damage if I block myself. So maybe I do that, just again, just for the fun of it. So we will add two threat here. We are going to uh, add one ship or one to that. So I am going to take, we'll pretend I have three life again because <laughs> I don't want to die again. All right. So I'm going to take four damage. I am defending again. I could just chump with uh, Spider-Man Miles here. It's fine. All right. Zero boost. So I still take one damage, but I'm going to do jump and flip just because I like that. And I'm going to discard phantom flip to pay for it to jump and flip, which is a interrupt, which, uh, oh, did I pay for it with a lightning? I just so happened to do that. That was not on purpose. Uh, but yes, it was on purpose. Now, uh, when you take any amount of damage, prevent two. So I would have taken one. I take zero. If you paid for this using a lightning resource, remove two threat from the main scheme. So I could do several things here. Remove two threat from the main scheme, ready myself. Exhaust this to draw a card. Oh, I got another jump and flip just in case. Now I can only ready myself once per phase doing that, but let's go ahead and draw a card here and the villain schemes. So if I didn't want that to happen, I could cancel one revealed. So yeah, I'm going to do it. Why not? Oh, I tell you why not. Cause I want to play the Spider-Man to show how that works, but I would do one damage to the villain right now, which would actually kill him and win the game again uh, and cancel the when revealed effect. So the villain would not scheme. Ah, but when the villain schemes, I need to also add one counter here. I might've forgotten to do that earlier. I can't remember if he ever schemed against me. I think he did. So this should actually be up to three. Oops, mistakes were made. So he's gonna do three total threat added to the scheme, which isn't a problem because I just exhaust Milano and remove three threat. <laughs> so, all right, well, let's finish him off now. Uh, I'm gonna pay three resources, one, two, three to do punk spider-man so i'm pretty sure this happens uh after playing spider-man from your hand i did play spider-man card from my hand it doesn't say spider-man miles morales uh if you control three or more web warriors which i do stun and confuse the enemy well guess what he is stalwart anyway can't be stunned or confused so it doesn't matter is that stalwart or is that uh yeah stalwart so it doesn't matter anyway but i believe that would have worked and i also believe when spider-man leaves play Discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. Deal damage to the villain equal to that. So can I do that with this? No, I can't make him leave play. No, I want Spider-Man to leave play and I want to be able to trigger that because that's ridiculous. D 
discard three cards and deal damage equal to the boost icons. That is silly. So let's see. If one of them left play right now, that would be zero and zero. Oh, all right. Well, never mind. <laughs> so not as good as I thought, but we got plenty of stuff to be able to kill the villain here. That's two, that's four, that's five damage total. They have one life left. Again, there was a lot of fudging things at the end there just to see the rest of the cards. And I don't know if we even saw the cards. Let's see. Plan B. Oh, spider ham, spider ham, spider ham does whatever a spider can. All right. So plan B, this is a basic card plan or any player's control max one per player hero action, exhaust plan B and discard a random card from your hand to deal two damage to an enemy. Huh? So it's basically a free two plink. Well, not a free. It's a one cost two damage plink every turn. That's kind of cool. What else we got? Return the favor. Discard cards tell you get a treachery and deal five damage. That is a very nice addition, by the way, to protection. I really like that. Oh, another plan B card. Apparently I had more than one. Jump flip. Uh, when you would take any amount of damage, prevent two. We saw that at the end there. Remove threat. Oh, another. Oh, wow. <laughs> of my last six cards, three of them, plan B. Would have been nice to have. I mean, we did enough damage. Ooh, Spider UK. So this is not a Spider-Man. So again, would not trigger these cards. And maybe I'm wrong about how this works. But I just think it's weird when it says when Spider-Man leaves play. It doesn't say when this card leaves play. And when after playing Spider-Man from your hand. It doesn't say after playing this Spider-Man. So I, I think I'm right on this. Which means getting a ton of Spider-Man in the deck is pretty cool now. Now you do need them to be web warriors too. I think the old Spider-Man was not a web warrior, but this one is a web warrior. So even though he's not Spider-Man, he's Spider-UK, he will still help you. Five life for three cost, uh, but he does have two consequential damage for attacking. When Spider-UK defends against an attack, deal damage to the attacking enemy equal to the number of web warrior cards you control. Wait, what? When Spider-UK defends against an attack, Deal damage to the attacking enemy equal to the number of web warrior cards you control. Oh, nice. So you got three allies plus Spider Gwen herself. So that could be just with allies. One, two, three, four damage whenever he defends. And he has five life. It's not terrible. I mean, I mean, and so you probably defend more than once. Now, not against Badoon over here. But uh, against most villains, he'd probably defend more than once. So anyway, that is Spider-Gwen. And uh, really two great heroes that came with this pack. But let's get to final thoughts time. So final thoughts on Ghost Spider. I kept calling her Spider-Gwen because it is Gwen Stacy. It is uh, She's had different names. But I guess this is the Ghost Spider. I had a lot of fun with her. She has added some really fun protection cards. Protection cards that are doing damage. She could buff up her defense. She didn't really have too much defense buffing cards. But she had things like take an attack to remove four threat. Or uh, do five damage and reveal a treachery card. Which is not great in and of itself. Again, you could get Shadows of the Past from that. But it didn't really hurt me in this playthrough here. None of those treachery cards were that bad. Where they really damaged me. I think the five damage was typically worth more than what I was taking in return. So anyway, I mean, really cool protection cards. Gwen Stacy herself, Ghost Spider. I really like her dad's card because that lets you save protection events. And again, I think she's going to be a really good protection hero. She wants interrupts. She wants responses. She triggers off of those. And those are mostly protection cards. So I think she is very specifically protection where I felt like miles earlier today could have really been any type of aspect. I th feel like uh, ghost spider is going to thrive in protection, but she has some really fun stuff in protection too. The ability to hold on to events and play them when you want to play them and save them for a later time. She's the only hero in the game that can do that. That is really neat. I really like her dad's ability and I'm glad they gave you another card to be able to get him because sometimes when you have cards like that, it's really hard to get them out or you never get them out. Now, it could still happen that both of those are on the bottom of the deck, but I do like the fact that they gave you a way to get them pretty early on or at least earlier. They give you two chances to get that because I think he is a big part of her kit and we've seen a card similar to that with Miss Marvel, but you had to be on your alter ego to trigger it. 
With him, if you're on your Alta Igru, you can actually add two cards from your hand to him um, because you can ready him. Or you could take that end of the world card, whatever it was called, Webs of the World or whatever, and you shuffle that in your deck as well, which gives you two free wild resources later on down the road. Or the ability on that was pretty cool too. I think it basically, for three resources, let you ready yourself and draw a full hand of cards up again. So nothing wrong with that as an ability. Now as a one-time per game ability, I think most of the time you're going to want to use that for the two wild resources early and save that for a very late game play. But it could be a game-winning late game play. So that's, I don't know. Both of these heroes are very good. You hear more of my Miles Morales thought on our One Stop Call Up Shop stream channel. But Ghost Spider, I had a lot of fun with her. I think she's going to really add something to protection that we haven't seen before. And some of these protection cards are really adding something nice too. And I love the Spider-Man triggers. I love the when Spider-Man goes away, if I'm right about that. So let me know in the comments. I think I'm sure. I think I'm sure. I'm not think I'm sure. I think I'm right about that. I think the way it works is whenever you play any Spider-Man card, you get to trigger those things. The Web Warrior key affiliation words are pretty cool too. You can do things with Web Warriors. You'll see more of that with uh, Miles Morales as well. So there's a lot of neat stuff with these heroes. I'm definitely excited to get them to the table more. If you want to see the campaign, we are going to play both Ghost Spider and Miles Morales Spider-Man through the campaign. So check that out on the One Stop Call Up Shop stream channel. We stream Marvel Champions basically every Friday night. So anyway, thanks for joining me. This was a fun, fun game. And uh, I am, like I said, looking super forward to playing more Ghost Spider. I'll let you know which one I like more in one of our live streams when we get to playing the campaign. I do have a favorite of these two, although I think they are both really good. Anyway, thanks for watching and we will see you soon. Bye.